Uh, welcome again. My name is Tim Bailey. I'm with uh, Red Date Technologies, and I'm in charge of uh, the Hong Kong office, which looks after Red Date's, all of Red Date's um, business outside of China. Uh, I'm proud to call Hong Kong home and uh, the center for what we're doing uh, globally uh, in our business. So I want to talk a little bit about what BSN is and some of the projects that we're working on and leading from Hong Kong. First of all, Red Date Technology. Red Date Technology is a, is a software company. Uh, we were founded uh, about eight years ago, working uh, initially on smart city technology, uh, and then shifted over to work on blockchain uh, and future digital infrastructures. So uh, we're one of the founding members of the BSN, or the Blockchain-Based Service Network. Uh, we manage the uh, R&D roadmap and the daily uh, maintenance of the BSN, and we're responsible for the formulation and execution of the BSN's uh, international strategy. So the, the vision that we have um, at BSN is that blo blockchain technology has the potential to change the world in the same way that the internet did 20 or 25 years ago. But there are some challenges that lay ahead in order for that change to happen. Two of the major challenges are cost and interoperability. So the BSN is an infrastructure that we created to address uh, both of those key challenges. Sorry, with my mask, I'm gonna get closer to the microphone here. So we created the BSN as an infrastructure that integrates multiple different blockchain protocols and other technologies in order to make it much lower cost, much easier to create blockchain applications and the interoperability among different applications. One of the reasons that it's challenging to describe and explain what we do is that what we do is we build infrastructures. And you know, 99.95% of people around the world never interact with an infrastructure. They interact with applications and services and websites. So luckily we brought along many of our ecosystem partners today who can give actual use cases of applications. But just remember, we're the infrastructure that lays below that, that enables all of those applications and services on top. So the history of the BSN, we launched originally in 2021 or 2020 in China. Uh, four uh, entities uh, responsible for that launch, including Red Date, uh, our partners at China Mobile, uh, Union Pay and the State Information Center as part of the NDRC, launched in China. We made a decision in 2021 that in order to grow the network globally, that we need to split the network into two different network types with different governance bodies. And so within China, similar to the internet, there's a different set of regulations for the BSN, and it's managed and governed by these four founding members. Outside of China, we created a foundation headquartered in Singapore made up of Red Date plus a number of other global leading technology and financial services companies to govern the BSN and how it operates outside of China. So I wanna focus specifically now on what we're doing in Hong Kong and what we're leading and building from Hong Kong. We have a platform that we call Enterprise BSN. Enterprise BSN is a software platform that integrates multiple different blockchain protocols, over 30 different permissioned and permissionless protocols. It integrates all the APIs, all the SDKs, all the resources that any developer of blockchain applications would need uh, in a platform, a single platform. So there's a one dashboard uh, that any uh, IT manager can look at to manage and monitor all of the blockchain applications in an, in an enterprise and all of the cloud resources that support all that development and operations. It's scalable, it's, so it allows for an unlimited number of distributed applications. 
It has interoperability services to enable different chains to exchange information. It has unified certificate authority, so you only need to create that and manage it a single time, not for every different instance within the platform. You're able to reduce costs because rather than having disparate cloud resource environments for different applications, you can manage it centrally in one pool of resources. And most importantly, it enables a non-blockchain uh, developer to become able to build blockchain applications within three days using the platform. And so this is from a commercial perspective what we're now out, we've been talking to enterprises, governments, and cloud service providers to integrate into their businesses to help them build uh, much easier and faster on blockchain. I wanna give you three examples uh, that we're working on right now. These are all uh, so far unannounced. Um, the first one is with a government. There's a government that we're working with that had uh, five or six different proof of concept blockchain applications for e-government services. And they found that the result of those POCs was very successful, that the services were well liked by citizens, they were very efficient and innovative. And so the government said, look, we wanna do this across multiple different agencies with multiple different services. And so they said, look, rather than having disparate environments and applications for each blockchain program, we'd like to have one shared blockchain infrastructure for use by every government agency in that government. And so we've, we've built this infrastructure for the government and that will go live in the next several months and will provide services to the specific government for any agency within the government to build blockchain applications. So this is a very exciting, innovative project, and we think will be a model for other governments around the world. The second big project we're working on is with a leading cloud service provider. Today, a blockchain developer needs to go up, purchase cloud resources, create an environment, download software, build that environment, build the tools. We can move much faster, and we'll hear from some of our partners later on today, how integrating the enterprise BSN platform into a cloud, into a data center, will enable that data center, that cloud service provider, to offer much better services to developers who want to build on blockchain. So we're working with a partner who has data centers around the world in over 15 different countries and is expanding to over 30 over the next year who will integrate enterprise BSN into each of their data centers to offer blockchain infrastructure as a service to all of their customers. And all of these customers are asking for this today and you'll hear more about it. Finally, enterprise BSN is a very valuable tool to large enterprises who are leaning into and being more aggressive about what they do on blockchain. So we're working with actually one of the largest companies in the world um, to work with them on a platform that they have that they are asking contractors and suppliers to be a part of so that they can more quickly, quickly make payments and track payments with each, each of their contractors and suppliers. So this is a project that has major potential to scale um, to hundreds, if not thousands of, of contractors and suppliers in this company's network. So these are just three of the projects um, that we're working on here in Hong Kong from the Red Date Hong Kong office. Um, I think the amazing thing about it and the thing that's so important for this audience is this is being driven from Hong Kong. These are global projects that can have global impact um, and it's being driven here from Hong Kong. So this is a focus uh, on what we're doing today and what we're working on that will have an impact over the next year.